hey guys so today i'm back with another video and today i'm making a baked ranch chicken and bacon alfredo without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing i'll be doing is making my sauce and i added one and a half sticks of butter to my sauce because i'm going to be making a big pan of it and i also added in my minced garlic Next, I'll just be adding all my onions. I added red onions, sweet onions, and also just regular yellow onions. Once it all came to a simmer, I added in my heavy cream. And I'll let you guys know in the description what I use and how much I use of everything so I added my heavy cream and I'm just gonna give that a stir until it all just comes together as y'all can see I did change pots because that pan was too little and it was starting to overboil over the top so now I'm just adding in my ranch seasoning and then I'm just going to give it a stir and then I'm just going to let that boil until all those sauces just come together. So y'all the pot was still too small. I mean I made it work but now I'm just adding in my parmesan cheese and just giving that a good stir. This is the consistency I like for my sauce. This is just perfect because it's thick and it's like smooth at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. But now we're done with the sauce and we can get on to the next step. So I am showing everything that I'm using to season my chicken, so I'm not going to really say it in the video, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do right here. Next, just oil up your skillet and cook your chicken breast. Now I'm just going to cook my bacon. And I'm not about to show y'all how to cook bacon because I know everybody know how to cook bacon. And if you don't, I don't know what to say. But <laughs> yeah, if, and also, if you want to just cut your bacon up to make it easier, you can. I chose to cut up some pieces, but it makes it easier when it's cooked because it's already crisp and you could just, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying, but okay. Now, hey, don't talk about my pan. It ain't dirty. It's just one of them pans that been through hell and back through the oven, okay? It ain't dirty, okay? <laughs> but now I'm just about to layer my Alfredo. So I'm gonna just tell y'all what I'm doing. I am adding my sauce. Then I'm gonna add my noodles. Then I'm going to add my chicken then my sauce and then my bacon and if i'm wrong you can see in the video what i'm doing okay
Oh, yeah, and you can't forget the cheese. I did not mention that, but yeah. Layer it with some cheese. I use mozzarella, provolone, and Kobe Jack. Y'all, this is the finishing look of my baked French chicken and bacon Alfredo. I think this was literally one of my best pasta dishes I ever made out of all the ones I made, and I made plenty. But y'all, this was so good. Just look at it. Like, I mean, it was so good. But y'all, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye.